And so we, we, we saw ultimately that it pointed us, Hosea pointed us to Jesus because 1 Corinthians 6 says that you and I were bought at a price. And, and this dude had to buy his wife back from another man. He literally had to buy his wife back from another man, but ultimately you and I were that bride who strayed. And the Lord had to buy us back from our love affair with the world. That, that we, we, we loved the world. We did what we wanted to do. We did not pursue the gospel. We pursued our own thing. But the Lord responded in a way that was beautiful in Hosea chapter 2, verse 19. He says, I'm going to betroth you in, in righteousness, justice, steadfast love, and mercy. But when we don't learn how to process our hurt, I'm going to tell you what happens. It usually, it, no, it always ends. If we don't, if we don't, really grab hold of forgiveness and repentance as a way to process our hurt. It's going to end in some type of addiction. You're going to turn to something to cope with your hurt. Now when I say addiction, I know m many of you immediately go to porn and drugs. And while I would include those, some of you are addicted to compliments. And so you rig your life around staying fly because there's an identity issue. If we're going to be honest about our hurt, we got to allow for self-examination. So the second C is condescension. Uh, here's when you become uh, disgusted with your spouse, and, and now you you, you kind of sarcastic with them. You take a little <laughs> test them uh, jokingly, but really you serious. And so the husband just kind of says, you know, while he's doing something, man, I must be married to, talking to the Lord, man, I must have married the most selfish woman in the world. <laughs> and he makes sure she hears that. And she fires back, oh, I guess I just should have married your best friend. And she cuts low. And, and, and we laugh, but this happens in Christian homes. Behind the doors, after the service. Because we don't know how to process our hurt. So hurt. And listen, I mean, we all in here, we, we, we blow it. But listen, if we don't get a hold of this, and if, and if both of you are stubborn, it kills the marriage. And as, as Eric and Monique shared with us, the decisions we make have collateral damage.